Welcome in everybody to High Button Sports as we get set to bring you this game between the Valley Jets and Pictou County Crushers live from the Dr. Carson and Marion Murray Community Center in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. It's our second semifinal game here as part of the U13 AAA Provincial Tournament. Our last game, nine o'clock start time between the Bedford Blues, Shibukto Atlantic. Shibukto took that one by a score of four to one. So they're on their way to the finals to play the winner of this game at 3.30 going to be an exciting one here, an exciting day. Championship Sunday at the rink all across Nova Scotia. Getting set up here now. Valley sends it back to the point for a quick shot. That one was blocked. And so we're officially underway here in this game. Picto looking to pick it up on the offense now as they bring it back in the zone. Shot towards the net there. Save, rebound, they score. Picto gets a bounce early. I believe it was Ty Bowden that buried that one on the back door. Just a funny bounce off the stick of starter Tatum Innes for Valley. And early on in this one, Pictou County leads it one to nothing. So just 40 seconds into the game, Pictou already up one to nothing here. Just being quick on the puck, taking advantage of a funny bounce, and it goes their way into the back of the net. The Crushers with the lead here now, almost like starting the game with a lead, only 40 seconds in, already up one. Faceoff gonna come back down into their zone now though, after the icing call, so Valley now looking to answer back here, still within the first minute of the game. Rimmed around the boards there, now Picto picks it back up. Moving through the neutral zone now on the offense. Played into the zone there. Mirabelli took a spill with the referee kind of in his path there. Valley picks it back up now on the wall. Taken by Bowden, he centers. Now working in, a chance here. Puck towards the front of the net. But Ennis jumps on top of that one, gonna cover up for the save. Picked out getting the change now for some fresh guys out there along with Valley. They're gonna do the same now. Getting ready for this face off just to the right of Ennis after that last save. Picto in the offensive zone here looking to build on this one goal lead that they've acquired in the first minute of play. Played back now to the defense. Ryan Ross takes this one. Played back around the boards now. Picked up by Grace. Grace goes up the wall. Back to the middle now. Chasing after this one is Anderson. He goes down low for it, but Valley taking possession here. Played up the wall, kept into the line there by Ross. He sends it back down low in the zone. Now played behind the net for Diebel. Diebel sends it up the line. Valley now moving up ice on the offense here with some room, shoveled into the offensive zone there, and they'll chase after it here. It's off stick of Gallant and into the zone. Just two minutes into this one, but already a ton of excitement to start this game off here early. Picked up now, and here comes the Jets into the offensive zone. Down low, it's taken by McLaughlin. Charlie McLaughlin down there, circling now, lost the puck. Picked back up by Picto here, and they'll move it the other way. Sent up ice. Picked up and passed in across there by the Jets as this one's dumped in. Puck there at the side of the net. Now chopped at and sent up the wall here. Played back to neutral ice here where it's taken by Picto. Cleared away there. McLaughlin chips this one in. Up into the middle now, carried into the zone by Picto once again. Long shot fired on net, pad save Ennis as he kicks that one to the corner. Taken now by the Jets here in their own zone. It's rimmed around the board, so gonna get this one out of their own zone. Under some pressure here now. Comes to the line and out, but taken right back and sent into the zone by Fraser there. Four shots on goal so far for Picto, none for Valley. 
as the Crushers carry it back in his own long shot, fired on a stick save there from Innes. Up the wall now, taken by Valley, but back up to center, Mirabelli steals it away for Picto as he sends it up the line now. Here's a nice pass, working into the zone, McDonald winds and fires a shot, save made there though by Innes. Jackson McDonald, a quick chance there in the slot, now gets the puck back in the same spot, this time he drops it back to the defense. Long shot comes in from the point. That one's deflected now in front. Shot fired on net, but the whistle goes and play is stopped here. Four minutes into this game, a 1-0 lead for Picto early on. Face off set to come outside the zone here, it looks like. So a neutral zone draw at the Valley line here now. Shot 6-0 in favor of Picto. As they hold a 1-0 lead here early in this game still. McDonald stabbing away at this one on the boards. Now scooped up, Miller brings it in the zone. Stolen away, Derber carries it along. Derber works in, fires a shot, he scores! Jacob Derber from a sharp angle there, finds a way to sneak it underneath the pad of Wilson, and that one's in the back of the net. Game tied at one here. So right, just like that, we're right back to square one here, even at one now. Problem with the timekeeper here now as the referee heads over to have a chat with him really quickly. Draw one back to Conrad now for the Jets as they have some new life in this one. Went down one nothing very early on, but now back to even here and it's a whole new hockey game as it's brought back in the zone by Picto now. Pass almost broken up there, now back to Ross at the point. That one's deflected as it comes in on net. Fowler picks it up now for the Jets. Sends it up ice. Valley on the attack. Brought in the offensive zone, taken down the play there though. As it comes back to the front of the net, it's knocked away by Picto, and now here they come. Little battles for that one on the wall. Centering pass, moving in now with a chance. The shot, glove save, Innes. Gonna hang on to that one, a nice try there by Picto. As Spencer Anderson got the shot off there, a sharp shot. High, looking to go high glove on Innes, but met with the trapper there, save made. And we get a stoppage now, five minutes into this one. Seven to one, the shot's in favor of Picto, but a tie game here as Valley scored on their only shot on goal in this game. Off the face off now, that one goes high off the glass. Taken back by the Crushers now, playing some strong offense here, looking to answer back after giving up that goal to Derber. Cormier from the point fires went in on net. Picked back up here now by Valley. Almost had that one stolen away, now they do as that shot's fired on, but the save is made once again by Innes. Picto getting their shots on goal here early on in the game, nine in the first five minutes. Cormier picks it up now and sends it back in the offensive zone. Valley able to get it to neutral ice, but that's about it as it's taken back now and sent across. Looking for McLaughlin there, but that pass just missed. Sent back to Cormier, he fires a TDD pass. Now brought up the ice on the left side as Picto changes their plan of attack here, working in it from the other side. Long shot fired on, but that one's blocked. Lifted off the glass and out now, Valley gets the clearing attempt off. Icing waved off on the play as well as that one's not quite far enough, and so Picto has a chance with it back now. Jackson McDonald up the wall. Picto loses that one, but quickly regains possession here as they gain center. Sent it into the zone, comes down low on Innes. He makes a play with the stick there to keep that one into harm's way. Fowler on the other side now picks it up for Valley. Once again, under some pressure here in their own zone, Valley as Mirabelli fires that one back in. Picto is doing a good job of kind of keeping them in their side of half here. Valley not being able to do much as to getting 
into the offensive zone so far in the first period. They have their goal, just one shot on net, able to find the back of the net. But other than that, it's been pretty much all picked out here early on in this semifinal game. Winner, of course, goes to the finals at 3.30 to face the Shibukto Atlantics. Loser goes home, season will come to an end. So it's all or nothing here in this game. And so far, Picto playing like the stronger team right now. Sent back now down low for Ross as he picks it up in his own end for the Crushers. Brought up the ice now, Ross still with this one as he works it in the offensive zone. Ross winds and fires a shot. That one's off a stick, though. From the corner now, sent back out in front, but batted down. Both teams went 2-1 and one in the round robin. Valley finishing first in their division, though, as now here comes Picto again with a chance. The shot, Ennis the save, and he'll hang on to that one for a whistle. Nice chance there, but Ennis able to come out and cut down the angle there, making the save. Blocking off most of that net there. As I was saying, though, both teams finishing 2-1 and one in the round robin. Valley got the first place nod, though, as the tiebreaker rules were in their favor. And Pictou County in the division with Bedford, of course, so they took second place as the Blues were 3-0 and oh in the round robin, but ended up getting sent home by Shibukto in our last game here. 4-1 was the final score in that game. A hat-trick from Bowen Cranston in the second period really propelled them to victory. Backstopped as well by their goaltender, Wyatt Espa. He had 28 saves. Just a strong game from Shibukto all around. So the winner of this game going to face them. Worked up the ice now by Valley. Centering pass. Brought in by Grady Rolls. He walks in. He fires a shot. Sticked away. Almost ends up in the back of the net, though. Is another funny bounce for them now. Back up front. Rolls fires. Blocker save made. Whistle goes, though, as the referee blows the play dead. Not sure. The net might have been off there. Looks like it is, though, yeah, on the far side. So we get a stoppage here. Some pressure, though, now from Valley responding here. It's been all picked up, as I've said, kind of early on. The Jets, though, a good team. Went on a very long winning streak in the regular season. Were undefeated for a good portion of that. Looking to top it all off now with the Provincial Championship. If they can get through to this afternoon's game. But now here comes... The puck down deep in the zone there. Scooped up by the Jets, though, and they'll move it out. Back to neutral ice here. Picked up by Fraser down there. He battles for this puck now on the wall in front of the bench. Picked out, looking to gain possession here, but it's taken away now by the Jets there. Sent into the middle. Now carried back in the offensive zone. Toe drag chance didn't work there. Thrown towards net anyway now by the the Crushers here as Lucas Walsh puts that chance on net. Five and a half minutes to go in the first period. Cormier with this puck now on his stick. Spins back with it. Taking his time here with it. Cormier cuts in on the left side. Now drops the pass back in the slot. The shot and the save from Innes. Comes up big there. A nice save. Squaring up to the shooter, taking away all that net. A nice stop from him there. Great setup from Cormier, though, to dish that one back out into the slot, but just couldn't finish off on the play. And so this one remains tied at one. 11 shots already for Pictou County here. They found the back of the net on one of those, which was in the opening seconds of this game. Face off here in the offensive zone coming up now for Pictou County. Play whistle down though off the draw, so we'll do it all over again here. Valley will switch out centerman. Still a problem with who's going to take this draw now. In comes Jacob Derber for the face off for the Jets here. One back though by Pictou, anyways. So does it really matter? As they keep it at the line there now. Sent back down low, here comes the Crushers. Back out into the slot, shot put down low. Puck loose in the crease there, but it's taken back by Derber here once again. Lifted into the zone there. Jacob Derber, the goal scorer here today for Valley. Back down low to Ferguson. 
at the point, just barely kept in there. McKay gets it down low. Now Derber off the side of the net there. That one goes off the boards and back at the center. McKay grabs that one again here. Hands it off to Greeno. Greeno off the boards and back into the zone here. He'll off for a change. Derber heading to the bench as well now. So Valley gets some fresh legs out there. The Crushers pick it up in their own zone and send it back at the center for Fowler. Fowler spins back with this one. Whistle down there. With 4.05 to go in the first period, faceoff gonna come back down to the picked out county, or rather the valley zone here as they ice the puck on that last play. At the point now, long shot comes in on net. That one's off a of body in front though. Picked out trying to find it back at the point for Grace. In the corner. Sharp angle shot fired on there by a Little, but it's off a leg. Back down low behind the net now. Penalty upcoming here. Not sure who that one's gonna be against as both players kind of getting tied up there, but a holding call made by the referee there. Had a clear view on it. Still not sure who's gonna head off on the play though. But it looks like it is going to be Pictou County getting penalized here. So a power play upcoming for the Jets. A chance to take the lead here 2-1 to one with just 3.44 to go in the first period. So it's Jacob Klo heading off on the holding call. One back to the point now by Valley. Fowler works in, fires a shot, tipped in front, they score. <laughs> Deflected at the front of the net. Jesse Gallant just taps that one home. Shot from the point off the stick of Fowler. And I believe Gallant got the last touch on it there as he just deflected it right down low and passed Wilson. Valley gets their second goal of the game on only their third shot. And they lead it two to one here now, late in the first, 3.38 to go. Shots are 12-3 in favor of Pictou County, but they trail it two to one right now. So Gallant indeed getting credit for that goal. A nice tip in down low. Just able to fire it home kind of with the stick there. Getting it down low in the zone. Pixel County now carrying it up the other way. They're back in the offensive zone now as that one slid back in front. Up the wall now, puck played to the point. Cormier keeps it in now, deflects that one down low. Steered back to the corner though by Ennis. Cormier dancing with the puck on his stick now. Spins back again, now takes it all the way into his own zone. Pass fed up the ice now, deflects into the offensive zone as that one's just shoveled up the boards and in. Innes out to play that one behind the net now. Valley picks it up in their own end. Up the wall, back out the other way now. Picked up County, picks it up. Pass it across there. Jackson McDonald down there battling for it for the Crushers here. Puck comes back at the center. Icing going to be waved off on the play, though, as it's taken by Greeno. Trip Greeno works it up ice. Now chipped into the offensive zone. Whistle goes, though, on the play. An icing call, so didn't quite gain center. So faceoffs it to come back down into the Valley, Jet Valley Jets zone. Pardon me. Off the draw, puck one back by Valley now as they chip it back out of the zone and down the ice. Once again, another icing call against the Jets here. So 
Face off gonna come right back down to their zone here with 2.05 to go in the first period. Shots 13-3 now in favor of the Pictou County Crushers who trail it 2-1. Valley in their own end. Pass comes over to Greeno. Works it up ice, now dumps it in. Gains center this time, so no icing on the play as we'll continue on here now inside the final two minutes of the first. Puck sent back to the point now. Long shot fired on there. That one just goes wide. Down low in the zone. Valley out of their own end looking to make a play on this one as they're taking their time with it here. 125 to go in the first. Pass sent across though, but picked off by Picto County as McDonald gets it back down low off the backhand try. Picked up and it's wheeled up ice now on the right side by Ferguson. He cuts in. Knocked off his stick at the last second there though. Was gathering speed, but just could, couldn't quite handle that puck all the way through. Ferguson gets it deep in the zone once again. He'll head off for a change now as Valley gets some fresh legs out there in the final minute of the first. Carried in by Picto County now, three on two. Long shot fired on, pad save. Innes though with the left pad as that one's kicked out. And now Valley will take it the other way. McLaughlin on his stick. Charlie McLaughlin battling down low with it. Sent up and around the wall. Connolly on that one as well down low. Up for Picto County now. Scooped up here in the neutral zone, carried in. Crushers with some room now, works in with a shot there. And a nice save from Ennis, reaching across with the glove. Makes the stop and hangs on. Just 20.9 on the clock here in the first. Off the draw, the Jets get it back out and now sent down the ice. No icing on the play. Time starting to tick down now in the first with just 10 seconds to go. Cormier in his own zone. Just can't turn it over at this point. The Jets pressuring here in the offensive zone, but it's lifted back up to center and sent down. That will do it for the first period of action now. Valley leading Picto County 2-1 after the first period of play. Shots are 15-3 in favor of Picto County, but they trail it by one. Heading to the first intermission, we'll be back to bring you the second period just after this break. I'm Luke Fitzner with High Button Sports and we'll see you after the break. Welcome back everybody to High Button Sports as we get set to bring you the second period of action here now between the Valley Jets and Pictou County Crushers. That's 2-1 Valley after the first period. Pictou County outshot the Jets 15-3 back in the first period but trailed by a goal here. Looking to even things up now as they open the scoring but two unanswered goals from Valley now has them on top as we start off the second period live from the Dr. Carson and Mary and Mary Community Center here in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. It's semifinal game number two out of the U13 AAA Provincial Tournament here. Shibukto beat Bedford back in game one. 4 1 was the final score of that game. So they'll be on to the finals here at 3 30. The winner of this game will meet them there. 
Right now, Valley up a goal, but Pictou County with a strong first period despite the score. Looking to tie things up now as it's worked up the ice by Cormier. He finds Frazier on the left side. Now it's dumped into the zone. Carried up ice now. That one goes off the glass and back into the Pictou County zone where they take it here. Below the goal line, worked up ice. Pass ahead now. McDonald works it in. McDonald got Bowden with them. Play whistled down though. Referee arm in the air. We're going to see a hooking call now made as we see who heads off on the play. It looks like it's going to be Jacob Derber, one of the goal scorers here today for Valley, going to the box on the hook. So a power play coming up for Pictou County and a chance for them to tie this game at two. Off the draw, Valley goes high off the glass. Can they get it out though? Strong on the boards is Picto. And so this one sent back down low in the zone there. Unable to clear. Rimmed around to the opposite side and now back out into the neutral zone. It's picked up by Cormier. He fires a pass cross ice. Now looking to get it back here and he does. In his own zone, Cormier up to Fraser. That's Miller, pardon me. Stolen away though by Ferguson. He cuts in shorthanded. Ferguson winds and fires a shot. Glove save made. That one's held on to Landon Wilson with the save there. Just his second of the game so far, as we're here in the second period. Only four shots on net for the Jets. They do lead the game though, so just uh, kind of telling how much quality chances they've had in this one, and able to capitalize on two of them. Picto County working it up now as McDonald has it on his stick. The captain, Jackson McDonald, spins back now, sends it back to the point. Grace works it into the zone. Grace finds McDonald here once again. Spins back, sends it over to Grace. Now cross ice. Cormier, long shot, fired on net, save made though. Ennis down in the butterfly, squeezes that one tight and hangs on for a whistle here. Freezing play. Back at the line, Cormier. Still a minute to go on the Pictou County power play as that's sent across for McDonald now. He gets it back to the point for Cormier once again. Working the line, has Ferguson tight on him, but able to find a pass down low. Now broken up there by Valley, and they're able to have a chance to clear it here. Just get it back to the neutral zone, but enough to at least give their defenseman some time to breathe. Little back now to the defense is taken by McDonald here in his own zone. Back over to Little. He'll skate it up ice. 30 seconds to go on the power play now. Worked in by a little, sent back to McDonald, but they missed the pass, and so this one's sent all the way back down by Valley into the Pictou County zone. Carried up ice now back by Cohen Little as he works it in now, dumped in off the glass there. Taken behind the net by Valley. 10 seconds to go on the power play for Pictou County here, so time expiring. Gerber getting set to step out of the box here. Worked up now by Ferguson. Back to five on five here now, so successfully killing off that penalty. Ferguson goes hard into the boards there, but gets up all right. Carried up ice now by Cormier again. Big defensive presence back there, but also not afraid to take the puck for a bit of a skate and try to score a goal here or there. Went back for this one now as Picked up County has it. Whitmore in his own zone. Back at the point now. Long shot fired on towards the net there. That one might have grazed off the pad of Innes there. Maybe even the post as it came close on that short side. Back at the line now. Stabbed at that one. Comes right out in front now. The shot and the glove save denied by Innes once again here. Point blank chance. Tatum Innes with the saves. That one's held on to for a stoppage.
One back to the line now by Pictou County. Shot fired wide though. Valley now rims it around there, trying to get this puck out of their own zone. It comes back to the point. Long shot fired on. That one's deflected in front, but doesn't reach the net. Now Valley the other way, a three on two for them. Skating up ice, it's Greeno. Leads the attack with the puck now. Greeno, a nice deke, sends it back out in front. The shot, that one's just fired wide there. Looking to beat them on the short side, but just fired it past the post there. Now it comes back up to the slot. Sent back down low. Collision there. Down in the corner, two players still down as that one's lifted towards the net. Carried up ice now by Pictou County. They work it in the zone. Takes some contact there, but it's brought back by Little. Five minutes gone here in the second period. A 2-1 lead for Valley now. Shots are 17-4 in favor of Pictou County as they trail by one here in the second. It's in the offensive zone for them here now, though. Working it up the wall. Puck taken away by Conrad now. Thrown up the line. Kept in at the point though by Grace. Skating with it still now. Grace sends it down low. Picked up now by McDonald. Below the net. Played around to the other side. Now back to the point. Grace keeps it once again. Picked up County pressuring here. Grace still with this puck here now. Momentum building for Victor County. Grace circling with speed now, works in with some room towards the net. The shot, Innes with the save. And after the whistle, a bit of a scrum at the front of the net here. Grace with a wonderful possession there though. Just skated circles around that Valley team for 30 seconds straight. Eventually found himself in front of the net there, but wasn't able, wasn't able to beat the goaltender Tatum Innes who made the save on the play. On the backhand, that one shoveled around, but kept in once again by Grace here at the blue line. Battling for it there on the wall now as the puck's tied up, it comes back to Fraser. Chipped in there now. Valley carries it in just on side there as they move it into the offensive zone. That shot's put wide though. Played back to the point now. Valley, a long shot on there. Save made by Wilson as that one's kicked to the corner. Puck at the side of the net now. Picto County has it away. Got it deep in the zone now, though. Finn Breen going after it. Played up the wall and out by Picto County. Moving it up ice now with some momentum here into the offensive zone. Puck dropped back. Taken away, though. Now here comes the Jets the other way with eight minutes to go. In the second period, it's brought back in by Derber. He winds and fires a long shot on net. Save made, though, and puck held on to by Landon Wilson. We'll get a stoppage here now with 7.53 to go. Off the faceoff, it's rimmed around back into the other corner. Pictou County within their own zone now, stolen away by the Jets here. Sent back out in front there, sharp angle shot put on net. Now puck loose at the side. Crushers can't clear there as Conrad keeps it at the blue line. Chipped off the glass and once again, this one comes out to the neutral zone. Taken by Bowden now. Worked into the offensive zone, Pictou County with it now. Shot there from McDonald goes wide. Past the halfway mark of this game here as it's 7.20 to go in the period. Lifted back out in front but not kept. Comes back to Cormier at the line. Cormier walks in, fires a shot. That one just goes high. Cormier back in his own end now. Long lead feed up the ice for Miller. Hands a pass off, but it's taken away by Valley once again here now. Spinning back, it's Fowler in his own end. 
He's taking it down on the play. Penalty upcoming and a power play. It's going to get handed to the Valley Jets here now. Miller's going to head off on the tripping call with 6.44 to go in the second period. A power play for the Jets. Looking to double their lead here in the second period. Shots are 18 to seven in favor of Pictou County, but they trail by one and now looking at a penalty they have to kill off here. If they want to stay within one, Lane Miller to the box on the tripping call. Power play starting here for Valley now as they take it in the offensive zone. Face off, eventually one back to the point there. Tied up initially off the draw. Puck fired across to Fowler. Fowler winds and fires a shot there. Deflected in front, down low, but it's off the pad of Wilson who makes the save and finds it to cover up there for a whistle. Close chance for them to start off the power play, but can't beat Miller, who or Wilson rather, who's good down low. Fowler at the blue line. Fires a pass across, now picked back up by Greeno, who's moving down low, sends it back out in front there, but puck tied up. Still loose there, picked up County looking for the clear, but Fowler swoops in and steals that one away before they can get to it. Back to the point now, couldn't keep it in there, so out and all the way back down to the neutral zone. It's picked up by Greeno once again. His pass just missed, but Fowler's there to regain possession for them. Now back down low to Greeno. Pushed up ahead for Ferguson now. Ferguson works it in. Sends a pass through the middle, but knocked off there. Picked up County, another chance to clear. And in, in fact, they do as they send it all the way back down into the Valley zone here. A minute gone on this power play. Miller still in the box for another 60 seconds. Puck rimmed around there to Bentley McKay. Spinning back with it now, though. Stolen away by Picked Up County now. Short-handed chance just fired wide. Back to Grace. At center ice, it's fired right back into the offensive zone for them here. Picked Up County will make some changes now to this penalty killing unit. Played up ice. The Jets gain the zone here. Ferguson again with speed. This time he keeps the puck to himself. Sends it back out in front now. The shot there just goes wide. Puck right back out in front. Off the stick of Wilson there. Wraparound try now knocked off. Ferguson back to the point. 13 seconds to go on the power play. Long lead shot there. That one's off the netting and a play. And so we get a whistle here now with 4.54 to go in the second. Inside five minutes to go in this middle frame. point now. Kept in by Greeno here as the power play is about to come to an end. Hammer down low. Miller getting ready to step out of the box here. Crusher's now back with it here out of their own zone. It's Cormier. He skates it up the line. Back in the offensive zone now. Taken by Jackson McDonald. Curl and drag play there but the puck stripped away. Picto County can't keep it in. McDonald steals it away in the neutral zone though. Sends one down low. Puck on the wall now, comes back out to neutralize once again. Picked up County, that one's off the glass. Greeno there, but taken down on the play. Penalty upcoming here. McDonald goes down to the ice, and so a penalty going against Valley this time. A power play upcoming for Picked up County, and a chance to tie this game at two. Inside four minutes to go in the second period. As we see who heads off for Valley. Still nobody in the penalty box yet, I don't believe. Tripping call was made there unless. And f yeah, see, we're gonna finally have someone head to the box for Valley here. So it's Caleb Howard going off on the trip. A power play upcoming for Picto County. And a chance to tie this game up at two late in the second period. Back 
to the point, Cormier fires a pass across, now working in with a shot, that one's blocked, deflects up and out of play for a whistle with 3.48 to go in the second. Line's been over to the penalty box to retrieve a new puck as that one went up and out of play. Pictou County now in offensive zone possession here on the power play. It's worked down low now into the corner. Sent back to the point. Kept in there. Dishes a pass across now working in with a shot. That one's into the glove of Innes. A nice save there made. Puck held on to. Valley will make some changes here now to get some fresh penalty killers out on the ice. Off the draw, Pitchell County in possession. It's back to Cormier at the point. Pass across, now Cormier gets it back. Now McDonald fires a pass down low. Now looking for the one-time shot, sends it back to the slot, but pass just broken up there by Valley. Comes around for McDonald, now back to Cormier again. He winds and fires a shot, that one's just played wide. Out of the zone now, a chance here for Valley, shorthanded. Breen throws one towards the net there. Puck loose in front, it's picked back up. Pictou County going to continue to the power play now. 50 seconds to go on the man advantage. It's scooped up here at center by Miller. He cuts into the zone. Taken down low now by McDonald. McDonald on this one, back to the corner. Grace at the point now. One time shot there, just played wide. 30 more seconds on the power play left as this one's thrown towards the net now. Puck bounces back out in front though. Up high in the air, it's knocked down by the high stick and call on its way here. Or a cross check, pardon me, so a penalty on its way. A cross check and call. So with 23 seconds to go on the power play, Pixel County's main advantage is gonna come to an end. Lane Miller back to the box here on the cross checking call with just 2.21 to go in the second period. So a brief four on four on its way before we get to see a late power play from Valley who looks to take a two goal lead going into the third period of this elimination game. Both teams eyeing a spot in the finals here. A win today would get them there later this afternoon. Valley up 2-1 right now in this game. Shibukto already with a victory earlier today, secured their spot in the provincial finals when they beat the Bedford Blues four to one. Back at the point now, Conrad can't keep it in the zone. Howard getting set to step out of the box here and turn this thing into a five on four as it's worked up ice. Carried in by Valley. Now at the point, Conrad fires a shot into the glove of Wilson as the save is made. 1.51 to go in the second now. A 1.31 to go on the penalty to Miller. Shots 19-10 now in favor of Pictou County who trail by one late in the second period. A defensive zone faceoff for them here looking to just get this puck down the ice and kill time off the power play for Valley. But the Jets win the draw now back for Fowler. He sends it across. Grady rolls with this puck now. Cuts in and out, send it to the slot, shot there, save made, rebound, but it's in the back of the net as it bounces in off the glove of Wilson. Valley scores here late in the period, it's a minute 31 to go. And their hopes of a two goal lead have come true now as they have some insurance getting ready to head into the third. I think that was just right off Miller's glove and into the back of the net there. Didn't look like anyone else was there to tap it in, so. A nice slot feed from Grady Rolls, gets it right out in front, and the shot fired home past Wilson. Finds the back of the net with 1.38 to go in the period. Tommy Ferguson gets the credit for that one, so in the right spot at the right time, able to fire that one home. 
pass to goaltender Wilson to put his team up by two now in the second period. Time running low. Just a minute and 15 to go in the period now. Sent down the ice, but not enough for icing as that one's waved off. Back for Greeno now. Almost has it poked away. Chipped into the offensive zone now by the Jets here as we enter the last minute of the second period. In the neutral zone now, Ferguson chips it in once again here. He'll head off for a change now as will the rest of his line mates on the Jets now. Pictou County looking to get going here on the rush. Taken by Grace. Cuts into the zone now, Grace with it still with speed. Knocked off that puck, a big collision there and open ice. Pictou County with it though in the offensive zone. Time running low in the period, just 30 seconds to go. Cormier at the point, fires a shot high over the net. Back out in front now, Pictou County looking to get back to within one here late in the period, but it's fired out by Valley. Just 15 seconds to go in the second now. It's taken back by Cormier in his own end. He'll spin back with this one. Cormier taking his time with this now. Eight seconds to go in the period. Maybe one last chance for Pictou County. It's brought back in the offense zone. McDonald. McDonald winds and fires a shot there. That one's just off the pad of Innes, and his time expires here in the second. Valley is going to head to the dressing room with a 3-1 lead after 30 minutes of play. We'll be back to bring you the final 15 after the break here. We'll have a brief intermission. Zamboni will come on to flood the ice. So 3-1 after two periods of play. 20-11 the shots in favor of Pictou County who trail by two. We'll be back to bring you the third period of action here on High Button Sports. I'm Luke Fitzner bringing you the call so far. And we hope you stick around and see the third. We'll be back just after the break.
Welcome back, everybody, to High Button Sports as we get set to bring you the third period of action here now between the Valley Jets and Picked Out County Crushers live from the Dr. Carson and Marion Murray Community Center in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. The third period of action here in this game. It's 3-1 Valley after two periods of this semifinal game in the U13 AAA Provincial Tournament. Winner of this game moves on to face Shibukto in the finals. Loser goes home. Season will come to an end, so Picked Out County down two goals here in the third. Looking to push back here and tie this one up before regulation time comes to an end. They're leading in shots 20 to 11 after 30 minutes of action, pardon me. And so as the puck drop now, we're underway here in the third. Sent up the ice now off the opening draw by Picto County. Fowler back for it in his own zone. Off the boards now, back out to the neutral ice. It's picked up by Grace. Goes back over to Cormier now. Fan on that clearing attempt and it's back down in the zone now. Derber going after him. Taken down on the play and now here's a chance for Valley early in the period. Picked up there in the zone by Galan. He's got a goal in this game. On the backhand now played around. Picked back up by the Jets here. Cormier back with it now in his own end. Looking to clear it out this time but they get it to neutral ice. Back in the zone now, quickly down there for Picto County. Goes across to Grace, pucking his skates there, but able to get up the boards. Poked out there by Howard. Going to be offside, though, at the line. Just couldn't quite get out in time, so they whistle down here. 59 seconds into the third period. Neutral zone draw coming up here now at the Picto line here. Puck pushed back now, brought into the zone here by the Jets. Howard starts off the offense now. Puck brought back out in front there, loosen the crease, but Picto there on that one. Sent back out to the point now. McKay goes across for Conrad. Picto can't keep it to the line there, so back out into the neutral zone now they have it. Sent up the boards. Now drop pass here left, but just turned over there. Valley steals it back once again. Fired up the other way now, and that one comes all the way down the ice. Going to be icing against Valley here. Just about two minutes into this third period. A rather slow start compared to the first two periods of play. Remember, Picto opened up the scoring just 40 seconds into the game here. Three unanswered goals from Valley, though, has them on top by two. Starting the third period off now. Chipped in now. Ferguson carries it on his stick. Now tried to play it in front with the backhand, but couldn't quite get it there. Picked up by Ross. He spins back now behind his own net. Under pressure here from Valley. Sent up the wall. Now into the middle. Derber's there. In the skates though, couldn't find it for a second, but picked back up by Grace, now cuts to the middle. On the rush here, the defenseman works in. Nice move there to get through. Waiting for reinforcements now in the offensive zone as it's thrown up the wall. Valley takes it back now as Derber moves it out from the left side. Collision there on the walls. Derber moves it back deeper into the offensive zone. He'll, he'll head off now, though. Picto gathers it back up in their own end. Crusher's on the offense here now as Cormier looks to start the rush. Sent up the middle and just down the ice now, so Picto gives up possession here as they send it down for an icing. Faceoff going to come back down into their zone here with 12.05 to go in the third. One back to the point for Fowler now, plays deep in the zone. Breen goes after this one as well for Valley here, but Picto County looking to move it out of their own end, they do. Centering pass there for Bowden, he's got a goal in this one for Picto County. 
the opening goal of the game. Crushers haven't scored since the 42nd mark of the first period. Just 40 seconds in, I should add. Strong game for Tatum Innes. Just one goal against on 20 shots so far through two periods as Miller works it in the offensive zone now. Long shot on net there. Goes high off the stick of McDonald. Conrad back up to the blue line, but kept in there by Pictou County. Long shot fired on, that one goes wide. Puck comes back down to the wall now into the corner. Miller down there, battling with Greeno. Greeno gets it up the wall, can't get it out though. Another shot from the point, this one's deflected in front and goes wide on the short side. Now bounces back out to the slot. Puck's still loose there. Valley looking to pick it up though and move it out of their own end. It's Howard. Caleb Howard wheeling now as he skates it up ice. Able to get it back to the neutral zone and play it all the way down now on net as this one comes down towards Wilson. Played up ice now the other way. Derber on this one again for Valley. Chipped up the opposite way though now. Backhand pass from Fowler. He goes cross ice. Now sent up the wall. Mirabelli. Crusher's back with it. Lead feed as it's carried back into the offensive zone here now by Picto County. Lost that puck though. Valley will take it the other way on the counter attack. Derber works it up ice. Into the offensive zone. Play whistle down though as he's offside at the line with 10.09 to go in the third. So just about five minutes gone here in this final frame. Face off one there by Valley. Derber brings it in with room. Hands it off now. Ferguson fires a shot. That one's just lifted high and over the net there. Almost bounced back into the crease. Cleared away though by Picto County, but Valley battling for it hard there in the corner. Both teams want this puck desperately here. Still stuck down there now. Finally cleared away by Little. Goes back up the wall now. McKay keeps it in. Picto County in their own zone now. Played up the ice. Now into the middle and here's a chance for them. Working it up now, knocked off the stick though. Delayed offside there on the play, so puck comes back out to neutral ice. Ross throws a pass across. Now taken into the zone by Picto County once again here, drop back. Little, works it in deep, but has it knocked off the stick. Valley able to get it out. Shoveled over to Ross. Almost misplayed it there, but able to keep possession here just long enough to get a pass through and send it into the offensive zone here. Picto County gets off for a change. Ferguson waiting at the opposing blue line for a pass up ice now. We'll see if he gets it here. As it's carried in, sent down the ice, but picked up now by Picto County. Once again, the Crushers on this one in their own zone. Up the middle now, lead feed there. Knocked off the stick. Around for Cormier now. Lost that puck behind the net. Valley back in possession now in the offensive zone. Comes to the line, long shot fired on. That one's off escape, but stays in front now. Played across to the opposite side. McLaughlin wasn't quite there though to get the stick down and tap that one in. 8.20 to go in the third period of this game now. Picto County still down by a pair here. Both teams yet to record a shot on goal in the third period, or at least have them up on the board yet. As this one comes in on net now, goes wide. Cormier from the point, fires one, that one also misses. Back to Grace now, at the blue line, he spins back with it. Grace hasn't knocked off the stick, sent down the ice, icing waved off though. So Valley gets a full line change off here with tons of time to make a play. Picto on the other end now. Starts to work it up ice. Turned over though as Fowler steals. Fowler gonna dump it back in now as we approach the halfway mark of the third period already here. Shot fired on there. Glove saved by Ennis there off the rush. And that's gonna do it for that possession there as we get a stoppage with 7.25 to go in the third period. 21 to 11, the shots in favor of Picto County who trail by two. 
20 saves for Tatum Innes so far in this one. Shot fire, they score off the faceoff. Innes just not paying attention, it seems like. But the Pinto County Crushers catch the lucky break they've been needing here. An unusual play there. Puck came back to the point off the draw. Long shot on from the blue line. And Innes never even saw it or didn't know it was coming. Either way, Puck finds the back of the net and Pinto County is back to within one. Back to action here now as Pictou County with some new life after pulling themselves back to within a goal. 7-10 to go in the third period now. So tons of time to tie this one up still. Sent back to the blue line now. Long shot comes in towards the net. Puck in the slot now. Pictou County with it. Didn't get the shot off though, but containing possession. Played back to the opposite corner. Ty Bowden in there. As I mentioned, one of the goal scorers here today for Pictou County opened the scoring with just 40 seconds into the game off a funny bounce. Both Pictou's goals have been kind of fluky ones at that. That's what you need at sometimes, especially in these types of close games. As it's worked back out in front there, the shot is denied by Innes. Point blank chance for Bowden to get his second of the game, but Innes denies him with the save there. Now puck sent down the ice by Valley. That'll do it here as the whistle goes with 6.15 to go in the third now. So time really winding down in this game. Valley yet to record a shot on goal here in the third period. Offensive zone draw here for Picto coming up. As we get a whistle here. So in to take the face off now is Spencer Anderson. As this puck comes down low off the draw. Crusher's in possession with it now as they battle down low. Tied up on that puck, but Picto takes it as little. Works it up the ice. Turnover in the middle though. Valley goes back the other way now. Howard on that one, has it taken away. Anderson now in neutral ice, lifts it into the zone. Hard after this puck now is Picto pressuring here in the third period, 5.45 to go, they're down a goal. Just pulled it to bit within one here, pardon me. Barely kept it to the line there, but now poked back out by Valley here into the neutral zone. Now working it back in with Room. McDonald drops it back, nobody home though. Valley steals it away. Lifted into the offensive zone by the Jets here. As they make a change. Now sent back down the other way, Pictou County. A missed pass there is going to end up in an icing call against the Crushers here with 5.09 to go in the third period. Faceoff going to come back down into their zone. Face off one back to Grace for the Crushers here, but as it's thrown up the wall, Valley steals it back away. Deflected there in front, goes wide. Inside five minutes to go in the third period now. The go Jets go chance kind of developing up here in the crowd now. Valley with a support, supportful group of parents. Fire down the ice now by the Jets. That one's going to go all the way. And will it be icing? Yes, it will. Close call there, but just enough to get down there for the icing call with 4.27 to go in the third period now.
Game really coming down to the wire here now. A one goal game with four and a half minutes remaining in the third period now. An offensive zone draw for Picto who trails by one. McDonald gets booted out of the faceoff dot there. So the Jets win the draw back. Conrad battles for it as McDonald goes down there. That one's off the netting though and out of play. So we get a stoppage here now. Just seven seconds off the clock between these two faceoffs. Once again, McDonald sent out of the face-off circle here. Puck sent down once again by Valley here. Another icing call on its way. Waved off on the play though, so we continue here. Looking to keep things moving now. The officials, as time's running low in this game. Only 11 shots on net for Valley, who leads it three to two, 23 shots. On goal for Picto County. Found the back of the net twice in this game. Looking to even things up and make it a third. Cross ice pass sent over now. Picked up by Walsh. Walsh drops it back for Grace. Grace cuts in now with room. Grace at the front of the net. The shot there. That one just got fired wide. Looking to go far side there. But couldn't quite find the net. And now... Puck comes back down all the way into the Picto County zone here with three and a half minutes to go. Across the Cormier now up the ice. Jackson McDonald carries it in. Knocked off his stick there by Ferguson. Both teams battling here on the wall to keep this one in the zone. Picto County can't though as that one comes back to neutral ice and now Puck sent back on the play. Turnover there as Ferguson steals. Working it back in now with a shot save made there. That one's gonna be held on to by Wilson for the whistle with now just 3.07 on the clock here in this game. Face off taken there now, one up by Picto. Carrying it up ice here, Little cuts to the middle. Working in there, trying to move past the defenseman, but Puck just drifted too far on him, and so able to put the cover on it is Ennis to get the stoppage in play as we're inside three minutes to go now, and this one 24 to 12, the shots now in favor of Picto County, trailing by a goal here late in the game. Looking to tie this thing up and maybe send it to overtime would certainly be welcomed by us up here in the booth. Some extra hockey here. Added excitement as the winner moves on to the finals. Loser goes home. Puck played around for Conrad now. Up the wall. Hector County keeping it in though. Is little strong on the boards there. Fires that one back down low. Shoveled off the boards and this time it comes out now. A chance for Grady Rolls. Rolls works into the offensive zone. He's got Ferguson with him, but turned it over there. And now here comes Cormier the other way. Cormier building up speed here, cuts into the offensive zone. He's got size as well, so able to push past some of the smaller defenders on the Jets here. Puck loose still in the skates. Valley looking to get this one out. Works it to the blue line, but just kept in. Now gonna come back out to neutral ice. Picked up by Ferguson once again now with two minutes to go. Ferguson cutting in, knocked off his stick. Picto on the counter attack once again here, working into the offensive zone. Cormier, a long shot, lifted high and into the netting and out of play. That one's off a stick. Deflection carries it right up over the glass. Wilson now looking towards the bench, weathering, wondering rather whether or not he should come for the extra attacker. Doesn't look like quite yet. But assuming that Picto wins his face off in the offensive zone, he'll probably head right for the bench in favor of the extra attacker. Picto looking to tie this game up. They're down a goal here. Came into the period down two, so they're halfway there. Draw one by the Crushers now. Wilson inching out of the net, not towards the bench yet. Valley able to get it back up to neutral ice, but that's about as far as it'll go. Grace takes it back now into his own end. Up the ice. Anderson, centering pass. Long shot fired on, that one goes wide. Ferguson picks it up, looks to fire it out. 
chipped off the wall, but not out. Kept in there. Pictou County on the attack, still here. A minute and 20 to go, Wilson to the bench. Extra attacker out there now for Pictou County. It's gonna be Little. Now a battle for it down there on the boards. Puck still tied up there now, Pictou County comes away with it. Poked it down low, Ferguson tries to chop at that one but it ends up behind the net. Last minute of play here in the third period. Worked it back out in front now, shot fired towards the net, puck still loose, jamming away at it. Whistle goes and the puck is covered up by Ennis there. A couple good tries by Picto County to get that one to find the back of the net, but they can't do it yet. 26 shots on net for them here. And they need just one more to find the back. Gonna have a timeout called here now, so we'll get a brief break. Picto searching for that tying goal here now. Just 51.1 seconds to go in regulation. Both teams going over the game plan here. Vastly different messages being relayed across each bench. Picto just gonna throw everything at the net here. Try to get one through Ennis. Meanwhile, Valley, empty net down at the other end. Just gotta be cautious here that you're not throwing pucks up the middle. In case of a turnover. But the Jets just looking to get this puck out of their own zone here. Can't get score on if the puck isn't in your zone, so we'll see what they do here in terms of a defensive scheme. Picto County though, not a ton of time. Just have to get shots on net and pray that one of them finds the back of the net. Face off one back to the point for Grace. Grace winds and fires a shot, glove save made, puck still loose and now play whistled down. We get a stoppage here. Another great save from Tatum Ennis there. Through tons of traffic, able to see that puck through, make the stop and get the whistle. Just six seconds off the clock there between those two face-offs. 27 shots now on the board for Pictou County. 25 saves for Tatum Ennis here. And I have a feeling that shot total is gonna go up just a little bit more before the end of regulation here as Pictou County pressuring a ton. Trip Greeno. Rims it around now. Valley clears it out of the zone. Ferguson staring down an empty net, but it's stolen back by Grace. Picto stays alive here now. Grace with 30 seconds to go. Enters the offensive zone on the backhand. Now spins. Shifts it back out in front now. A chance here for McDonald. Couldn't get the shot off. Played it back and now stolen away by Derber. He sends it down the ice. Is it going to have enough for icing though? I don't think so. Icing waved off. 15 seconds to go. One last hope for Picto. Sent up the middle, Grace with 10 seconds. Up to McDonald, he works in. Offside at the line though, so play stopped with just six and a half seconds on the clock. Valley can almost taste the finals here. Just need to win one face off in the neutral zone and fire it down, that should be enough. Meanwhile, the Pictou County Crushers here one last opportunity for them as it's brought in the offensive zone. Off the wall now, batted away. They get it out and that will do it. The Valley Jets are headed to the U13 AAA Provincial Finals here in Spring Hill. Pictou County put up a great effort. Dominated the shots on goal totals. 27 to 12, your final there. But the Valley Jets, a 3-2 win here today on High Button Sports. We'll be back to bring you the finals here today at 3.30, so be sure to tune into that game. It's gonna be an exciting one. Valley taking on Shibukto here in about two and a half hours. Grace gets player of the game. For the Crushers there, Connor Grace, a great game for him. And Tatum Innes, number 29, a goaltender for Valley, gets player of the game, 25 saves on 27 shots. Really kept the team in this one throughout the game. Picked on made it close, they put up a great fight here, but that will bring their season to an end. Meanwhile, Valley 
one last game to become champions here, taking on Shibukto later today. We'll see you all for that game here on High Button Sports. I'm Luke Fitzner bringing you the call. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.